We're here with uh, Sean, Stacy, Mark is, uh, where's Mark? He's out looking at yearlings today. Okay, Did yep. you guys, have you guys gotten any yearlings yet? We got five out of Lexington so far. Okay. A couple trotters, a couple pacers, okay. and uh, just kind of doing homework for Harrisburg. Okay, oh, so Harrisburg is a big... Uh, That's kind of always been our big place, really, where we do the majority of our business overall. Where did you get Sylvia and Xenia from? Sylvia come from uh, Harrisburg. Okay. Yeah, and Xenia was from Lexington. Okay, so, um, so did you get anything from Lexington? This year? Yeah. We got five from Lexington. Five from Lexington. Yeah. What about the uh, sale that just happened here in Lon London, right? London, the local sale. We ended up getting three pacing colts out of the local sale, too. Okay. Yep. So you so guys, you guys got to go all over, and this is, it's the end of the year, but you're also prepping for next year. So yeah, it's... we're trying to do our homework. Anyway, my dad works really hard at studying the books and stuff like that. And... You know, trying to find next year's. If you don't do a good job at the sales, then what are we going to do? Right. Yeah. You train good horses you start, in the yeah. You start in the mud, and then it, it's it's tough to work your way out. Exactly. So we got two finalists, Zinia and Sylvia. Yep. Out of all the finalists, we got. Don't take this the wrong way. Okay. They seem to be the two most stressful horses we got racing in the Breeders' Crown. Is that is that accurate to say? On the racetrack, they're they're great in the barn, but man, they uh. Whew, they, 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 they get your heart pumping. Is that correct? Is that accurate? I really would say they're not good for our blood pressure. Right, yes, that's, right, that's exactly. Sure. They're great. I mean, so, uh, let's talk about Sylvia. So um, uh, uh, she's, I mean, she's a rookie. She's a, she's a freshman. We yep. got it. So maybe hasn't fully learned how to race yet, but she's damn good. She's painfully good. I, right, that's yes. how I always describe yes. her anyway. She'll only give you exactly what you asked right. for and not a bit more or a bit right. less though. So, so to ever think you're going to draw off and win by three or four lengths on anybody, it's not going to ever be the case. Not going to happen. Think, uh, in the limb, she makes her way to the front, and then thankfully another horse came and she was able to get up a little cover. And then as soon as she zipped around everybody, it, she drew off again. It was it was amazing watching her race. Yeah, she just like when she mentally is ready to go, she goes. But when she gets out in the front, sometimes she might just I don't know see a pigeon going by and just decide to take a a 30 10 second break out there i don't know women right oh, say, yeah. no, say no more <laughs> yes and then and then you've also got uh war Zenia who was and let's go back to the oaks yeah fantastic i mean absolutely one of the best trotting miles we've seen you know all year coming from mm. last to first in the limb was phenomenal uh and and you're like wow and she was great up here and then you know kind of shocked everybody in the oaks of limb for sure uh, because they were like, yeah, she's good, but we didn't know she was that good. No, and that's what, I think a lot of Canadian guys knew she was that good, but it just hadn't been shown to the to the world part, yeah. kind of at that point. And going into that moment, she was, you know, white hot. She, yeah. was, she was good. And, and uh, makes an error in the final. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is and then just things could never really get 100% set after. If it wasn't one little issue, it was another. Yeah. And, and that's been her, her thing all along is, just one little issue or another and it's just enough to knock her off her, her a game but when she's got her a game there she's, she's she, tough she's and, fast. and in the limb i mean we saw uh she got a little traffic trouble and had to decide go left go right go left go right do i go in do i go out i mean she really had no from the rail you really never got a chance to get into the flow she was boxing pretty much from the word go right yeah like joviality sitting on her outside wheel in the first turn you know put her in a in a tough spot where we were for a bit and then when things kind of shook free in the lane it was kind of a stop and go stop and go and but we're thankful we made it at that point coming around the last turn but and uh, she was loaded like she well, once she once she got free i mean she was i mean she's one of the horses that can beat you know jiggy and joviality and fashion schooner and and definitely up there with one of the elite horses in the final so i'm sure like you know those two horses are extremely special individuals but in the back of their mind, they're thinking about uh, Zenya always a little bit too. It's not she's not an afterthought to them. And and I I just got done from seeing Bulldog Hanover and same deal. It's like we want all the horses to be whatever level whoever wins these races, we want to see them bring their their best game. And I think Zenia is probably one of those that can if you're going to beat Joviality and Jiggy Jog, like sh bring your A game, bring your top level, and and she can do it. I think. Oh for sure. Like I think. Uh, if she doesn't bring her A game, no, she's not going to catch them by any means. But if she brings her A game, I think she's going to mix it right up with them. And I think she's probably as good as they are when she's got her full A game there. Right, and that's all we want to see. We want to see yep. all the all the horses. And that race probably, uh, probably the best race competitively on the entire 
program. That three-year-old Philly Trot is the most competitive, best horses, five, six horses can win that thing. It's a very deep field overall for sure. And I think, yeah, it's gonna be a really good race because of that. There's so many that could could make it happen just in different ways. They're all different style horses, basically. Uh, my Here's what I would say, just uh, Friday night Sylvia. Yeah. So you can win that one. And then Saturday night, you know, sleep, have a good night, celebrate, and then just win with Xenia. That's my... I would just sit at home on my couch the rest of the year if those two nights could go right. I'd yeah, be real well, happy. I'm just saying <laughs> exactly. that's my advice to you guys. Just yeah. that would be how I would, you know, and then Saturday celebrate and then, but you got to do this all over again with all the yearlings. So, uh, right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. You, you don't, even get, right, overall, don't but... even get a break. So, uh, you know, good luck Friday and no, Saturday. Thank you. And uh, yeah, Sylvia Hanover, War of Wiesania, uh, two, two Breeders' Crown. How's that? Just think about that. Just, Put it out there, let's right? Let's just have luck on our side that night and, and a good night. Let's All right. leave it at that. Rock and roll, bud. Thanks. All right, thanks a lot. A wild finish. It's a Breeders' Crown showdown at Woodbine Mohawk Park. Two nights of incredible racing, 12 divisional championships, over $6.5 million in prize money. Join us on October 28th and 29th for Harness Racing's richest, most prestigious year-end fight to the finish. From the long shots to the sure shots, it all comes down to the Breeders' Crown.